the wonders of the universe <laughs> and the universe within, the great universe within. Um, there's a beautiful depiction of the god, uh, god Vishnu in the Hindu pantheon. Vishnu is like the main guy, he's the head god. And the story is that he created the whole universe with the sound of Om. Mm -hmm. And he's often depicted, this is, so he's often depicted lying on his serpent, it's called Vishnu's couch. And he's lying like, you know, on his side. And he's always painted in a translucent way. So that as with every breath, the universe literally moves through him and out. And just like so much water, so much air. And you know, this is this is happening within us. It's not just a story. We're, we're meant to hear these stories and to realize we're every character in this story. You know, we create our own universe. You create your home, you create your, you create your meal, you create, you know, to create life, everything. You create it. And then we recreate it and recreate it and recreate it and hopefully stay in tune with the power of creativity as we come to the mat to move our bodies in creative ways that we don't do all the time. It's just this reinforcement that we are here to create. So we begin by creating the universe with the sound of Om, just like uh, Vishnu in the story. And I mean, to sit however works for you. And I think, Art, I'm gonna excuse you for a second. This is a creepy probably here. Oh. <laughs> Looks like he needs to go outside. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll see you. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. All right. Take a big breath in. And exhale that breath. Every breath inviting the universe to flow through. Nice strong inhale, length and tall. Exhale one more time. Noisy exhale. And we'll chant triple on together. Inhale. Oh. Oh. Bow oh, your chin as you exhale, releasing your hands as you exhale. And feeling that inhalation lengthen you with your chin and open your eyes. Okay, beautiful. So we're going to start on our backs. Now we're going to start, uh, you know, maybe a blanket for under your head. If you want something else, you know, put down underneath you, that's great. And then we're going to rest the sacrum on the bolster. <clears throat> and if, you know, if, that, if you have back stuff and the bolster feels like it's too much, then you just take a blanket. We're just going to start with this little bit of a lift as we recreate our universe. Okay, so a little lift and you put that bolster anywhere that feels good. You know, for some, it feels better lower, for some, it feels better higher. You want to stretch your legs out. You want to take your arms overhead. Whatever works here, just be in this opening of, of self, this welcoming of yourself. Tuning into anything that might be a little creepy in this place here or very present. Moving beyond that into the flow of your breath. Every single breath, with every breath I know I'm alive. With 
every conscious breath, I know I am here. Take two more breaths. Maybe we'll stretch the arms, open the hands, stretch the fingers, let's do the heels. Draw the belly in, anchor the mid back to the floor. Softening, let all that go. Okay, we're gonna bend the knees, feet to the floor, arms wherever you like, feet, you know, you're gonna feel what's a good, a good stance. And then we'll move into our good friend, windshield wiper. Nice and slow, maybe you close your eyes. Feeling a rolling of the hips, the outer hip getting a little something, and the back is twisting, feeling your feet moving, maybe engaging the feet a little more. So feel you're rolling through the feet to move side to side. You're rowing your boat, everything coming together here. Good, so working through the feet, stay with your feet. And then we're going to transfer this movement up to your knees. So you can let your feet rest and feel your knees are now swaying. And they're doing the, the work. Your feet are just rolling along. Notice any changes or any extra maybe some cracking or some sensation that's different than the feet. And then go back to the feet for a few moments and let the feet do the work. Maybe the toes are lifting. And then you let the feet soften and then go back to the knees doing the work. And the knees are swaying. Can you soften your hip area, pelvic floor, hip crease, all of that? Just let it go along for the ride. If the thigh bones are just moving in their sockets very happily. Okay, now we're going to move from the hips. So put your mind in your hips and feel like one hip has to lift to make the action happen. And just be with the movement of your hips. Focus on the hips are driving the ship. Row, 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 row your boat. Yes. Good. All right. So then we'll. Just do a few more from the hips. Notice, you know, where the glutes clench and, of course, they're part of the hip. So you would feel that and the new sensations. And then we're going to come back to rest. And you might stretch the legs out. You might put the arms somewhere else. Now we've brought in all this movement, so vibrational energy. Tune into that frequency that's present. The flow of your breath. And before we change from this rest, take your attention to your shoulders resting on the floor. And just notice you feel more like the bottom tips of the shoulders, shoulder blades, and the outer off. What do you? What do you feel is resting on the floor? Keeping your awareness on the shoulders, bend your knees, place your feet on the floor if your legs are straight. Just tune into the shift. Notice the shoulders. And then we're going to bring the knees into the chest. So adjust the bolster as you need to. If you need to move out, take it out. Just going to bring the knees in. Maybe the hands come to the knees, and maybe the hands just rest on the floor and just rock the knees in and out. And tuning into the movement in the back of the heart, the back of the shoulders. Right. And maybe you can rest with the knees or the thighs into the belly. You can adjust. Just find it. You can lift the legs. You can be wherever you want here. We're bringing more weight. So the shoulders are going to rest a little heavier. And maybe we're going to get a nice little bit of opening in the low back, too. And softening the breath, softening 
Imagine like all parts of the back of your shoulders are resting. Heavy, heavy resting. Good. So still in this shape, nothing's gonna change. I'm just gonna take advantage of the feet being up and start to roll the ankles. Maybe it's like an egg beater for the ankles. So pointing and flexing, any movement. Moving your ankles, jaw soft. Okay. Nice big breath in, even if it feels constricted inside out. <sighs> and it's melting to the floor. Okay, I'm just giving my shins a little massage. We'll start to stretch the legs up and they might stay in a chair. You could be like, you're sitting in a chair. They could go up to the sky. So just changing the angle of things a little bit and you're shifting. If you have the knees bent, the knees are over your hips as much as you can. If that gives you back, as we open, you know, like the low back has to um, maybe arch a little more as the knees move away or as the feet move away if your legs are straight. So you can play with that. See if I bring the knees in, oh, do I get back relief? If I take the knees away, do I get an opening? You just find you know, find the place for you. Okay, and then we're gonna hang out here for a few breaths. So feeling here. So if, the, if your legs are straight, if the heels are anchoring down into the hips. And if your knees are bent, you're just drawing from the knee energy down into the hips. Almost like you want to press into your bolster with what's resting there. Okay, I'm going to take the arms overhead if that's okay. Breathe, wherever you are here. I'm going to turn it into an egg beater. So do what you got to do and then start to egg beat your legs. And if the arms overhead is not happy, you can adjust it. Watch your feet move, watch your knees move, and feel your hips move. Everything here participating in this joy of swimming through the air. Good. And then reverse. It's really moving our hips, the low back. And... Good. And it's going to go one circling in each direction. Oh, notice, friends, if you're gripping your hands. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to bring the knees back in. Adjust the bolster to a comfortable place. Okay. I'm a very well-trained dog. Take a few breaths here. If you feel comfortable to stretch the legs up and kind of let them fall towards your face, and some of you might, you know, I don't know, let the bolster up a little higher. Sometimes that helps and we're just in whatever it is make it soft so don't you don't have to be too forceful but if you're comfortable here you could take your hands the backs of your calves the heels and just draw them down again i'm just bringing more weight into the back of the shoulders and restricting the breath a little bit so even if your legs are up high that's your place today just honor what is Take two more breaths. Good. And then we'll slowly release from this. And we're going to come all the way back to the Shavasana shape, whatever, my knees bent, legs straight. I'm going to stretch my arms overhead and imagine you, you know, you're Vishnu's couch. <laughs> and the universe is moving through you. And just receiving same time as you're releasing everything just moves through like so much water not holding on to things you know this popped in my head in a bks iyengar book he wrote i think it's a light light on yoga okay he wrote you know your dog has emotions but not feelings like might be sad when you leave, but he doesn't hold a grudge an hour later. It's just so interesting. <laughs> it's true. Okay, bend your knees, bend the feet away, lift your hips, and we're just going to send this bolster down so the 
between the hips and the heels and your whole back is on the floor. And then we'll stretch the legs out so the bolster is underneath the thighs. And you can just let your legs just drop. Let them just fall here. Okay, and just take your arms out to the sides like a T. And then we're gonna keep the upper arms on the floor, backs of hands on the floor, and you're gonna start to bend at the elbows. And maybe the arms are gonna come into gold post arms or cactus arms. And if the backs of the hands don't come happily to the floor, you just find that place where they stay on the floor. Good. Okay, we're gonna to start to turn the toes in and out. So widen your legs apart if you need to. Flex your feet and bring the toes into center, like the big toes, you're anchoring them down towards the floor, and then we'll open that up. And let the baby toe edge come down. Just do that a few times. You feel your whole leg moving. You have this bolster under the thigh. So as you're doing this, can you anchor the thighs to the bolster? So this is all happening, but the thigh bones, like they're pushing back. And they just want to anchor into the bolster. So you feel the bolster all the way on the backs of the thighs, maybe to the inner thighs and the outer thighs. And you're breathing, you're smiling. This is just good medicine. Good. And then end with the big toes coming in. They're anchoring to the floor. You draw your belly in. Press the thighs towards the bolster. Soften your heart, even as all of this is happening from the hips down. And exhale, let the feet just ah, flop out and feel, you know, the back is everything's going to come down. Nice release. I feel like I want to do that one more time just to, now we're going to take, just before you do it, stay as you are. Feel your back, the whole back resting on the floor. Feel it soft. Feel your breath moving through you like so much air. Like your body is porous. Good. And as you inhale, start to activate the legs. So you're pressing out through the heels, you're flexing the feet, you're going to draw the big toes in and down. And you're going to anchor the thighs. So, whatever part of your thigh is touching the bolster, push it down like it's like. The big toes want to come down, the heels are pressing away, the inner thighs are pushing down, and then feel what's happening to your back. Feel that. Feel like how it's lifting and tensing, and, and then exhale and slowly release so you can feel the back. Oh, release and be like, oh yeah. Okay, and keep the bolster where it is. You're gonna bring the right thigh into the chest. So if you need to bend the left leg, you do that. But I am gonna activate the left leg just enough so I feel the back of the thigh onto the bolster. And if you don't feel that, you know, you might not if your back is tight. That's okay. You just imagine you're gonna you want to press down towards the bolster. So as I start to rock this right knee in and out, you're gonna feel that left thigh underneath the bolster. Very aware of that. That's your anchor. You're anchoring into the bolster as you just gently rock this right knee in and out. It's not really about the right knee. Soften your jaw. Good. Okay. Let's let the left leg take a break. Just let it relax. Keep holding this right knee in or thigh in. Drop your shoulders. Rest your back. And let's just take three nice, ah, full breaths in. And that noisy sigh, ah, bringing in the voice. The vibrational energy. Okay, I'm going to release the right, put the right foot on top of this left thigh, even if it turns out. Your arms can open out to the side. I'm going to start to just massage the top of this left thigh with the right heel or the right outer foot or anything there. And if that doesn't work for you and you're down at your shin, well, oh, that's nice too. I just moved down now I'm massaging the shin with the arch of the right foot. <laughs> so, you know, be playfully curious because you never know what you're going to discover. Right. Okay, I'm going to take this left hand. It's going to find this right 
ankle or anywhere. And we'll start to, maybe I'll take the right hand to the right thigh and just press the right thigh away. It doesn't need to be anything major, just gentle. Now I'm gonna activate the left leg. Press the left thigh into the bolster. See what happens. And some of you might even walk this right foot. You might get the outer edge into the left hip crease and your right knee might oh descend towards the floor. It might happen, you never know. <laughs> And if it happens, I'm going to take my right arm up and over and just activating. Okay, if you have this, look, I'm going to take my left hand away, and that right foot is just working so hard, pushing into that left thigh. Whatever's happening for you, whatever place you're in, just smile. And then you're going to release. Just let the right leg come out, put the right foot on your bolster, and start to wave this right knee in and out. Just this little Hip release like a half windshield wiper. Okay. okay, I'm gonna do one more before we switch. So the right foot's on the bolster. Move it to the edge of the bolster, whatever, wherever your edge is, and invite the right knee to drop down and it might drop onto the left thigh, anywhere there. You can just rest here. I'm gonna do a little hip walking, so. You press the right knee towards the left foot and then let it come back. Pressing the right knee away and let it come back. Just do that maybe. Oh, it's getting into it and just feeling it. I'm going to do it a few more times. And the left leg is it's just enjoying it. Okay, and then let's stretch out both legs. Arms wherever you need them to be if you need to bring them down. Feet can flop and just take a moment to feel. You might notice the right shoulder, right side of your back, right side of your waist, right hip. Everything is a little more grounded. Okay, and then we'll even it out. So I'll bring the left thigh in, change the interlace of your fingers, decide what you need for your right leg. Um, just knowing, you know, I'm going to use the bolster, just pulling the bolster up a little bit so the full back of the thigh is resting there. And now I'm going to draw this left knee in and out, just gentle rocking. Rest through the right heel and anchor the right thigh. And notice what you feel. You know, I know I, I'm speaking from my own body, so this is my tighter side. As soon as I activate that right leg, then, you know, have this tightness in the outer hip starts to open and it can be an interesting place. I just share. Let the jaw go and feel that right thigh into the bolster. Feel your back moving or your feet back of the floor. Draw this left thigh wherever it goes. Let the right leg just relax for a few moments. Soften into this. So, you know, there's always tension when we bring in tension. Let the shoulders drop, jaw drop, eyes rest. You'll feel the bolster is pillow now, just supporting. Right, and we'll release this leg. We're going to put this foot on top of the right thigh. And we're just going to massage this right thigh with your foot so your foot's articulating and moving and pressing. And you know, if you've ever had a Thai massage, your feet are very involved. A lot of feedback there. And oh, I'm going to go down to the shin a little bit with the arch of the foot. Give it a little love. Back. Okay. And then we're going to take the right hand. You're going to find your left ankle and I brought the thumb along with the fingers and take the left hand to the outer left thigh and just gently press it away and activating the right leg. See if you can soften it somewhere, maybe the hips, maybe the back, maybe the jaw. And then we're going to go deeper. So I'm going to bring the baby toe edge of the foot up into the right hip crease and let the knee descend. Oh, go down then. Wherever it goes. Yes. And I'll take the left arm overhead and 
So if you can really anchor foot into thigh and thigh into bolster, all of that, you might take both arms overhead and this is a standing pose. And there's a yoga teacher named Catherine Budig and she has a famous pose where she's standing in this, her foot holding a glass of beer. <laughs> so that's how strong that foot is. Good, okay. And then we'll slowly release. We're gonna set the left foot on the bolster. Let the right leg just relax. And then start this like windshield wiper, just rolling this. I say knee, but you know, you have so many options. Is it your foot that's driving? Is it your hip? Everything working together. Good. You can find the outer edge of the bolster with your left foot and invite the right, the left knee to drop down wherever it goes. And then breathe here. Good. Okay, I'm going to take this little left hip for a walk now, so just, or left knee. You know, maybe it's, I'm going to say I did it the knee last time, so it's like I'm pushing the knee towards the insole of the right foot and letting it come back. Just this little hip walking, the body dance with this. Do you have a movement? Freedom in movement. Okay, and then how am I going to do maybe oh, one more full <laughs> capacity of with the groaning and moaning, but sometimes this stuff just feels great. Okay, let the legs come out and just take the hands and rest them on the belly and just be with the Vishnu breath. Soften breath. I mean, your breath has definitely changed from when we first sat down. Good at that. Okay, I'm going to come to Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, and they're down quite a bit. I don't have them up super high so that I can still have the bolster as support. And if that doesn't work for you, you better cross leg it or even feet on the bolster. Just so we have an open pelvic bowl, open pelvic floor for a few moments. Good. Okay, so once you're settled here, bring the awareness to the back. Feel yourself resting here. Take one more breath. Right. And then we'll lift the knees. I'm going to bring the knees in, hug them in, and because there's nothing here but a prop underneath the head, we're going to rock and roll. And you know, last class I said, if you want to take your feet over your head into a little bit of a plow pose. I saw some of you did that, so do whatever feels good. Nice, I'm gonna do one last one. Nice. And then we'll come up and just take a moment to sit and just go into bolster, your blanket. Good, all right. Here's what I feel is gonna happen next, is that we're just gonna take a few of these moving, sitting. So. If you need to sit on something, do that. Make it comfortable, something under your feet. I'm starting in cross-legged and cut the feet in. Lift yourself up and then let's start with cat-cow. So you take the belly back and you're rolling over your sit bones, moving front to back. Just an opportunity to feel everything moving. Feel yourself rolling onto the back. So moving yourself forward, and next time you come back, we'll start to circle. And just move yourself, and if you're happier with your hands on the floor, friends, you know wherever they go, if you can bring the shoulders in, close your eyes, imagine them as you're well, in that famous scene in Avatar, and they're all sitting in front of the tree of life, and they're moving together, and you know connecting to the earth. Started saying. Feel this practice will be guided by nature. You can feel yourself, this divine connection. 
you are a part of source. You know, we all came from someplace. You just can change the direction, and that someplace is all the same. So you have some spark somehow. Whatever your creation, story of creation theory, it all started together from something. Okay, we'll do two more in this direction, and one in each direction to kind of finish off. Awesome. Okay. All right, <laughs> good. Here we go. I feel this this one too. I love this. Here we get the nice shoulder stuff, right? And we're just going to take a windshield wipe, just move ourselves in. Let's see. Back. Moving from your feet, moving from your knees, and moving from your hips. So different. Nice. All right, good. And then come to center, plant the feet, walk the hands in. We're going to come up and over to forward fold. So we'll do it like this. Do, 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 do. And we'll take the hands. And just come up. Don't worry about your blocks. You know, you're just going to make it unless you need your blocks. Or you can always put your thighs on your... Just be here. Let the, the hanging... We did a lot of hanging in class the other day. But the end part said, wow, it's a lot of forward folding. But, um, and it was. Um, but I have to say, my back felt amazing. And hopefully it wasn't just me. But nice release. When we hang, we just need pain on the monkey bars. Okay, so with that in mind, come to wherever you can. You can grab opposite elbows and let yourself hang. It is a hanging from the hips, so feel the feet engaging, pressing down into the earth, letting that energy travel all the way up the legs, consciously, inner leg, outer leg, feeling the hip bones, hip bones, reaching to the sky, in, in your mind's eye, just hanging from the, from the waist. Release your waist. You can do that. You know, you inhale, maybe you draw the belly in a little bit and kind of inchworm your way to the roof. Lifting your inner arches, maybe the toes lift. You can pull from the inner arches up to the inseam of the leg. Take the hands to the floor. I'm just going to sway side to side. Okay. Great. Well, we still have this bolster here, unless you've taken it out. And I'm just going to find downward dog with the heels on the bolster. Let's take a few breaths here. I'm going to press the heels into the bolster. I can lift the rest of my foot up off the or if that works for you, go for that. And we're just really going to press back from the thighs. Imagine the backs of the thighs are pressing into a bolster. And let your head go. And you can even shake your head gently, you know, side to side. Make some no's and some yeses. I'm going to press the toes into the floor. Lift the heels high. Bend the knees. And then imagine your thighs are going to push into a bolster. And then we're going to come down. We're going to take a little child's pose. We're going to take this blanket for the knees. We're going to bring the bolster up front. Take a child's pose over the bolster. Come with the knees wide, feet on the floor, bolster, and you can always build it up and make it more. You lay over the bolster and turn the head one way. That feels okay. So. My belly is on the bolster. If that's not happening for you, enjoy it at home. Just take all these props and just make it higher so that you feel you know, your belly is able to be supported. And then when we have that, you can breathe into the back. You feel your tailbone softening. And you soften your tailbone. You know, it moves in there. It, it, it has direction, points direction. You know, when you move the hips one way, the tailbone follows. So 
you can hear if you just rock your hips a little bit and you feel like you're wagging your little tail and then rocking your tail. Lifting your head and just turning it opposite way towards the left. Our final few breaths, a nice big inhale. You sigh it out and you can bring your head to center. Maybe the forehead rests, maybe the chin, maybe the nose, maybe the hand support. Bring your head to center and one more breath. Okay. And then we'll come out. I'm going to take a downward dog again, but if you, know, you can always be on your knees and just stretch one leg out at a time. We allow the legs to stretch and maybe the hips to wag, maybe the tail to move. Walk your feet forward, take the hands back and bring your hands to your hips and we'll come up through the power of your legs. Just come up to standing, take a breath or two here, drop your arms. A little dizziness might be experienced and let that be normal. Good. Okay, well, we've been doing tree pose in every class for the last uh, week. So coming in here, we'll stand however you need and we've cultivated this softness. So maybe you feel your head, you know, from that child's pose and just feel that the energy from your head drawing down through your body right into your feet. You feel this connection to earth and sky. And then keep your eyes soft and move yourself in, balancing on the, maybe the left foot to start. You know, just take your time, you know, I'm by the wall. If you need a wall, let it be like a soft entrance and be very aware of the articulation of the left foot to find the balance, maybe the imbalance. Okay, grow your tree as you're ready. Okay, so I'm just hiking here. My hip can, I, I don't want you to do that, but this is what happens. The hip kind of tends to hike up. We want to be able to drop it down like you're balancing on your one leg. You can drop your hips and then they hug towards each other. And maybe you smile, stretch your fingers. Even if you're wobbling like crazy, it's good, good work for the ankle. Good. Okay, and then we'll come out like we don't even care. And I'm making myself wobble. I'm moving my arms. I'm going to move the leg <laughs> and come down and... And then as soon as you come down on your two feet, give it a moment, feel that energy drawing down from the crown of the head all the way down through your translucent, radiant, you know, receiving, releasing body. And then we'll move to second side. So it starts with anchoring the leg. You find it, take your time. You know, this one is moving slow. It can be the greatest gift. We learn so much when we take our time and The opposite of and this just popped in my head, you know, the opposite of the expression of being a hothead, you know, someone who's like just moving from their head super hot and overreacting or reacting or you know, whatever hotheads do. And maybe you, you can go, Oh, yeah, that was me. <laughs> I can say, Yeah, that was me. If we slow things down, feel like, Oh, it's your left hip hiking up, and you drop it, you feel the heel engage and hug the hips. Be in your stillness and your unstillness and your just in the glory of, of playing. One more breath. Get and then we'll release and again just crazy arms over here and crazy leg and, ah, and receiving and just stand in your mountain pose. So feet on the floor and you know, maybe the palms face out and you might sway forward and back for a few moments and just find the balance on your feet. Feel yourself anchored, you know, tailbone anchoring down. As you inhale, sweep your arms out, reach up. And then just take three or four breaths here, moving with the earth and sky. Good. Okay. 
and come back down. So reach up. I'm going to take chair pose. We did this in class the other day. You start to bend your knees. Your arms can stay up in the air. They can go out shoulder height. They can rest on your thighs. You might rock a little bit forward and back here and you know, feel that the tailbone is moving. So good. Okay, I'm going to slide it all the way down, maybe so slow. Oh, as I come down, I'm going to take this bolster, move it out of the way. I'm going to take this blanket and turn it torso shape, smooth it out. Hands are going to come down. We're going to take the knees down. And I feel we need to do Vishnu's couch because I talked about it and it's come in. So here I am on hands and knees. We're going to lie on the right side. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to lift the knees up off the floor, take a little bit of oh, abdominal work here, and then slide the knees over to the left. Hips come down. And this is Vishnu's couch. Here we are. Vishnu's couch. Maybe the legs stretch out, and then we start to be a little wobbly. So the left hand comes down. I'm going to take this right elbow back. I'm going to turn my head a little bit. Doesn't need to go all the way up to the sky, maybe just a little bit. And then you're going to feel here that you're on the outer edge of, I'm lifting my left leg just to, for, but you know that's extra balance work. So feel the outer edge of the right foot. Feel the outer edge of your thigh. The belly has to come in, the tailbone has to descend to find the anchor and then feel you're on your right hip. So maybe you're coming forward, maybe you're back, find the right hip. Give glory. Oh, maybe we'll take the arms over. You can let the left leg come down. We'll breathe here, reaching, pressing through the heels. Yeah, I didn't tell you how to place on your blanket. So we're going to roll to the other side. And the rolling part, you might feel, oh, how slow can you go? And it might just be a big plot, but there's something about controlling the roll. Come onto your back, and then we'll just quickly shimmy over. I'm just going to switch sides, and then we'll roll onto the left side as much as we can. And then just go, oh, that rolling. And then find your Vishnu's pouch. So the elbow is out from the shoulder, and the head is lovingly supported. So you can start with bent knees, and then you kind of find it. And you lifted the leg on the other side, so. Do it here and you find your touchstones on the outer edge of the left foot. Over your hip. I take the hand here. Oh, that really challenges the balance. Good. You feel oh, I'm resting completely on the side. Everything's coming through, and maybe we take the arm out and take the arm over. And if you come here, you know, we want the benefit of a full stretch. I'm going to push this. What leg is this? Right leg out and let it come down. And then breathe inside, press out through the heels. So you imagine you're lying on your serpent couch. <laughs> you're translucent blue and everything's just moving through. Okay, and roll onto the back and as slow as you can, slow as you can, slow as you can. Well, at some point, you know, you feel, oh, there we go. Okay, now we roll onto the left side, so I feel like I need to roll onto the right side. Just feel what, oh, what's happening over there. So we're just kind of shifting onto the blanket, find this extended staff pose, and then you can roll onto your right side. And we'll just roll back, oh, another opportunity. Find it. Oh, okay, this time once you come down, you say, oh. Pause for a moment. Okay, I'm going to come up to sit, and I feel like I'm going to come up from the crypt. So let's do it together. Even if you don't come up all the way, start with the legs. Extend the legs. You're on the heels. Take your hands behind your head. Lift your chin to your chest. Look at your toes. Hello, toes. And then we start to come up. And if you have, have to help, they help. It's all fine. You know, you're doing it. And that's whether you ever sit up. You do it. Okay, once you've sat up, however you get here, take your hands behind. Let's come back to a little windshield wiper here. Oh, the shoulders and everything else. And, yeah. 
Okay. All right, but we're gonna come down, but here I feel, oh, this would be good for the back. So I'm gonna take the L forearms down. You have this blanket, go however you like. Bring your knees into your chest. Yes, and then just rock. And then we're just massaging the low back and we're getting the shoulders in. And move with your breath and open your, and maybe your face is moving and you're nodding. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to press up onto the hands. We did that in class the other day. You see how that transition goes. Oh, I'm working the abdominals. You could be doing this too. <laughs> Good. Okay. Ah, all right, let's come out of that. And let's move into a Shavasana too so we can stretch open as we come into rest. So from here, friends, if you need socks and your heating pads, which I'm going to go get this. Your little goddess here. The blanket for your head and all that good stuff. Setting up to. Oh, it's all, it's, I mean, I'm just going to say, like, setting up for sacred self care and it's all that. It's all that. Okay. So, Shavasana 2. And you know the bolster can go right next to the back. You can go further away. But good friend. Oh, hello, good friend. Oh. Sometimes. The luxury of propping the body up into shapes and resting into that is just pure magic. You need some support for your arms, whatever you need, friends. I'm going to rest here, a few breaths, and make it luxury. Feeling. Let's take our awareness to the soles of our feet. Imagine. But as you inhale, that breath is coming in through the soles of your feet, moving all the way up. And as you exhale, from the crown of the head out through the soles of the feet. Sticking with this linear line of the breath for a few more rounds. Imagine, feel it, see it. And the next time you exhale, let that exhale go from the crown of the head to the heart and out through the arms. And inhale through your palms. And back up to the crown of the head. And you're also talented, talented, so gifted. <laughs> As you breathe in, feel that breath coming in through open palms, through your feet, all the way up to the crown of your head. And let it flow out through the palms, through the feet. Breathe fully into all of you. Staying as you are, bending your knees, feet to the floor. I'm going to widen the feet. They could be far away. They could be close in. The heel toe, or not heel toe, sorry, pigeon toe. The feet bring the knees together and rest in again. You can stay with your expansive breath and just be with the stillness, the invitation. The way we place the knees, you know, we're bringing the hip points up towards each other, pressing a little bit into the pelvic bowl as we open the low back. Feel the breath in your pelvic bowl just for one or two rounds. Feel what's happening. 
And then we're going to open the knees out into a Baddha Konasana. And you know, if that's not a happy pose for you, just turn your toes out, let the knees drop out. And if you can bring the feet together and be here in this without support, or throw it in. Now feel the breath in the pelvis. And be with that expansiveness. Feel like you are, or you have, and you continue to. You replenish your well, replenish your wellness. Create space in the lower body where we hold our deep feelings, trauma, anything, even our joy. Hold the hard and the soft, all right here. From here, friends, we're going to move into our Shavasana, and you might be there already. You might be like, oh, I'm just going to stretch my legs or do whatever and be very happy here in this pose with the bolster. I think I'm going to stay here, too. I'm just going to throw one of these dog beds underneath my legs. Dog bed is a great prop. You can always sit up and take a blanket and cover yourself. I'm going to grab my eye pillow, too. For eight minutes. I'm going to let that really drop in. If you don't have an eye pillow, you can always rub your palms and place your palms over your eyes and just inviting in the darkness, the heaviness. It's, it is like an invitation to surrender. We can't see what, what's coming to be in this present moment of stillness. Fluid energy moving through you. Every breath. Deep breath. I know I'm alive. With every breath, I am here. I'm here in the flow and the energy of my life, life force, my home. The joy of this day. Breathing more deeply onto an audible sigh, a conscious letting go.
gently returning your awareness to the flow of your breath. That which is moving through you and within you. And guiding your awareness to the support of the earth beneath you. And free flowing energetics with the air above you. Imagining with your eyes closed the space you're in. It's receiving all of this good energy you have filled this space with. And that you are filling it with right now. Feeling into the safety and security of this moment. For this moment, all is well. Staying in your Shavasana rest, friend, you feel called to. You're coming out, experiencing the sacredness of simple movement, gentle awakening. This great gift of body, breath. Time, movement, and you are connecting all of that to you know, the sacredness, this moment, this moment, this moment. Great reminder that you are worth it, you're worth it. Your health is your wealth. Your wealth is your abundance. Money is just energy. It's great. You need it to flow. All you have right here is your wealth. The wealth of breath, the wealth of space. Wealth of a connected, embodied beingship. And to that friend, as you're ready, you'll inhale and lengthen and exhale, joining the hands. Oh, I feel so much energy here, just right between my hands, in front of my heart. Bowing your chin. And we'll send out that creation sound of home and seal this practice. Inhale. Oh. Bowing your chin and breathing into your hands and it's anything you need, and you consciously put it here. I see you, or I need you, I believe in. You offer that to yourself, and maybe it's something for someone else. Whatever it is, it's real, and it's here. And you have the power. So, powerful, beautiful yogis, thank you so much. Ah, namaste. Mm. Light in me sees the light in you. It's an honor to practice together. Enjoy this beautiful day. See you in the next class.